Okay, so we're going to pretend that I went to HEB yesterday and I spent $7.81. Um, I did go to HEB yesterday. I got some milk, some coffee creamer, and a candy bar. So, I'm going to pay with a 10. So, the cashier tells me I owe $7.81 and I give her a $10 bill. How much change is she going to give me back? So we're going to start with the $10 and we're going to take away the $781 that I owe them. I can't take one out of zero so I have to borrow. Now, because this neighbor doesn't have anything for me to borrow from, nor does this guy, I'm going to have to go all the way over here to this one to borrow. Okay? So that means that this is going to all change. It's not going to be one zero zero. It's going to be zero nine nine. Okay? It's ninety nine because I borrowed from that hundred. Okay, so when I borrowed, I'm going to add this 10 over here. So now I can do the 10 minus 1, which is 9, of course. And 9 minus 8 is 1. I'm going to drop down my decimal point. 9 minus 7 is 2. And then I have 0 here. Okay, so my change should be $2.00 and 19 cents. I can check it just to make sure we got this right by adding it back and hopefully we have the original number. 9 plus 1 is 10. I'm carrying that 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 8 is 10. I'm carrying that 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 3 plus 7 is 10. Again, carry that 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Drop down my decimal, and yes, we got this correct because we got back to that original 10 that we started with. Okay, so let's talk about this $2.19 that she's going to give me back. Okay, so she hands me back $2 bills, and then she gives me, you know, uh, 19 pennies. Okay, so that's 19 hundredths because it takes a hundred of these pennies to equal a dollar. Okay, so I have 19 pennies here and my two dollars. But I tell her, um, can I possibly get a dime instead of all these pennies? And I don't want my wallet to be that full and that heavy. So she says, sure, you can have a dime instead of 10 of your pennies because 10 pennies is the same value as a dime. 10 hundredths is the same as one tenth. So I'm going to go ahead and swap those out to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. And she gives me the dime. So now I have two dollars, one tenth, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundredths. Okay? So I have right here this dime, and here I have my pennies, and of course I have my two whole dollars. So when I add all that up, two dollars and ten cents, two dollars and nineteen cents. Okay? Excellent.